Antonio, you could make the case this is literally the, the, the role you were probably born to play. You were literally born in Picasso's hometown. We knew that there was a painter out there who was born in Malaga, and in my particular case, two blocks from where, where I was born, that made a big splash in the world. <laughs> and so, especially my generation, uh, we, um, we became, he became our idol completely and we were you know thinking in Picasso like the thing that you want to be you know did you he escape the the aura of the dictatorship this state of anesthesia in which we were living in the Spain of the 60s and the 70s unfortunately you know Picasso he died in Mojan 8th of April 1973 and Franco died in the 28th of November 1975, so we, we didn't have the opportunity of giving Picasso the applause that the Spanish people wanted to give him. The people from my hometown, we wanted just to receive him and, you know, and say, we, we love you, man, and but that didn't happen. You know? So that was pretty much the context. So that was the relationship that I had with this man. Um, you know, he was kind of the hero that escaped everything that Franco was trying to keep in close. <laughs>